Well, away from technology, on to a question which all of us have interest in. What is the salary increment outlook for this current fiscal? That means April 2016 to March 2017. Should we get ready to celebrate or could some hard knocks be heading our way? The answers are all with Ritu Parna Chakrabarti, Senior Vice President at Team Lease, joining us uh, via Skype link from West Berkshire. Thank you very much uh, for joining us. Um, I know it's an awkward time. Really appreciate uh, uh, you joining us this afternoon. So I'm going to get right to it. Uh, you know, the Team Lease Jobs and Salary Primer for FY17. First, the big takeaways. I think uh, one of the biggest takeaways, of course, is what people would like to hear first from my side is probably what kind of increments we're looking at. I think the increment is going to be moderately uh, ranging between 11 to 13 percent. Um, besides that, I think uh, one of the interesting aspects which are coming up is that um, the reason for the moderation seems to be largely on account of the fact that there are certain sectors which seem to be uh, looking at uh, remunerating or rewarding uh, their employees on better than the others and almost 15 must be so we typically cover 13 Okay, I'm just going to interrupt there because as our viewers would have seen, there was a bit of an audio issue that we were facing. We're just going to dial up Rituparna again, but let me just uh, reiterate what she said. Increments, 11 to 13 percent on average. Rituparna, we're going to have to live with fluctuating technology, but the point that you were making is that, look, there, the reason for the slight moderation uh, what is it? I think it's a, I honestly think this moderation is a good thing. Anything which is over the top, any is, it, it, it really calls for, uh, it actually is an indicator of some kind of, a, of trouble, uh, which means there could be a certain amount of disbalance between the demand and the supply or, so I think a moderation is a good thing, which means that we are in the right direction. Uh, also, it suggests that uh, there is a lot of consolidation which has happened over the last year and the, the increments are probably an indicator of that. For example, the e-commerce industry, we are seeing that there is a lot of stability which has started to come in. Uh, uh, players have stopped being mindless the way they were in terms of hiring talents, in terms of retaining talent. Uh, focus have moved in, uh, towards performance rather than just throwing the buck and getting talent. I think these are some of the reasons. Uh, of course, uh, it's an average. Uh, we see that there is a certain amount of uh, uh, bullish behavior around this, even in, in FMCG, in FM, FMCD, um, in, in um, IT, definitely in agrochemical businesses where salaries are going to be 13 plus as well. It's just that there are other sectors, for example, automobiles, allied sectors, in real estate, in construction, power and energy, where we feel that the mood is conservative in nature. So it's a balancing effect. It's about how each industry is right now uh, uh, positioned at this point of time. Uh, but I think overall, I think the sentiment holds good for the long run and I don't think anything's wrong in that anything too much um, uh, too wayward I mean anything in excess I think it calls for trouble yeah important point that you're making that look if there's a moderation and you're getting increments of 11 to 13 percent range actually when it's grounded in reality that's better than irrational exuberance which is bound to run out of steam sooner or later the other point which you alluded to is the fact that overall Hiring levels are going to pick up in FY17. Just expand that piece. Which pockets do you see hiring picking up um, in more profoundly than others? I think FMCG consumer durable continues, will continue to hire. We would see, of course, uh, hiring also happening in e-commerce, but it's not going to be the way it has been happening in the past. I think there would be a lot more reason behind the way people would go about hiring. Uh, we would see a lot of hiring happening in agrochemical businesses because the outlook seems good in that industry. Uh, manufacturing is expected to pick up because I think Make in India has left some 
has made some positive impact. It will be a gradual uptake, but we would see an increase in hiring. One of the interesting aspects which the survey throws up is that the difference in compensation between a temp role and a perm role, especially in manufacturing and allied sectors, is actually almost negligible, which is an indicator of the fact that the skills which are in demand are becoming increasingly scarce, and there is demand. Uh, which also sends out the signal that we really need to get prepared in terms of developing skills which are required for uh, the Make in India campaign to be successful. Otherwise, we're going to lose out on a huge opportunity. That's an important larger point, the fact that the gap between uh, temporary uh, pay and uh, you know, permanent in manufacturing is really almost uh, negligible. I was looking through the details of the survey and what we haven't told our viewers is you know how extensive this survey is let's just take a moment uh, to run through the statistics of the survey before i ask you a couple of other questions rituparna yeah sure so you know where have you done it across how many sectors and how many cities okay. so i think this is this is a study which we've been doing now for almost over eight years so essentially it started out by trying to plot that across different key sectors different key cities uh, different roles uh, with starting from 0 to 1, 2 to 3, 3, 4, etc. What are the different salary levels which are prevalent? It was supposed to be a benchmarking system. I think over a period of time we've developed this into actually giving an indication of uh, what are going to be the forthcoming jobs which would be in demand in these sectors, which are currently the top jobs which are there in these sectors, what are the kind of compensation that one can expect in these jobs. Uh, the current study, we have actually comprehensively done a study across 13 sectors which are usually, which are in our opinion the high growth or the um, empl high em uh, employment generating or sectors where compensations are also significant. Uh, we are covering about eight functions across these uh, 13 uh, industries and we are covering nine cities. A large part of the data uh, comes from Teamly's own data, like Teamly's over the years, I mean over the last decade we have actually hired more than 1.5 million kids, so it, it's, it's, we're sitting on a goldmine of data, you can say, and every month we are onboarding about 9,000, 10,000 kids, so we've used all this data, and of course we are hiring a lot of people on the roles, direct roles of organizations. Right. We put all that data together and we've come out with this insight. And some of the informations which we unearth every year are really are, 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 are amazing. Okay, one final question. Is there, it's coming back to increments, uh, any particular profile where there, or a bunch of profiles where there is a very steep increase in pay levels that you foresee in this fiscal? That will point to where the most, uh, uh, you know, where the biggest demand supply gap is perhaps. I think it might, I, it's, it might just seem cliché, but it seems that it's, it's the all IT-related profiles across all industries are the ones where we see that there is, seems to be a high premium at play. Uh, SAP consultants still, uh, surprisingly, are very much in demand and are commanding a high increment level. I mean, even the compensation levels are pretty uh, decent. And so I think, like, like for example, Delhi. Delhi has, uh, um, has actually taken over as the number one city in terms of increments. And the number, uh, the, the, the job, which is where the increment is highest in Delhi, again, is an IT profile. So I think as a cluster, different IT roles across different sectors are leading the pack, I think, an, uh, with an average increment of over 13%. I'm going to leave it at that. Certainly some interesting, uh, uh, you know, trends that emerge from the Team Lease Jobs and Salary Primer of FY17. Ritu Parna Chakravarti, Senior Vice President at Team Lease, really appreciate your time and insights. My pleasure. Thanks, man. Time for a quick break. Uh, when we return, HDFC Live.